it says in uh, Matthew chapter 12, Here is my servant whom I have chosen, the one I love and whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not quarrel or cry out. No one will hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out till he leads justice to victory. And then here's the theme verse. In his name the nations will put their hope. And uh, man, there's no question that, that the nations, our nation, are in desperate, desperate need today of hope. Uh, whether it's on a, on a grand global scale when we're watching the news and seeing threats from North Korea and Islamic nations with weapons of mass destruction, whether it's uh, a good friend of me and my wife that she just got off the phone with a little bit ago, their backyard neighbor um, is has been exposing himself to her girls and the children uh, around the neighborhood. Uh, we are in desperate need of, of hope in our nation. So what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, kick us off with uh, just a, uh, kind of praying that scripture. Uh, and then I want to open it up if anybody would like to come up and, and just, uh, just pour out whatever's on your heart this morning for our for our city, for our nation, for our schools, but whatever God's put on your heart this morning, you just kind of want to open for them. All right? Let's pray. What she prayed uh, for our city's nation and our nation's leaders, and from Ephesians 1, 17 through 19. Pray, I pray that the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ may give you the wisdom of His Spirit. Then you will be able to understand the secrets about Him as you know Him better. I pray that your hearts will be able to understand. I pray that you will know about the hope given by God's call. I pray that you will see how great the things are that He has promised to those who belong to Him. I pray that you will know how great His power is for those who have put their trust in Him. And she also prayed um, from Colossians 1:9. Uh, I ask God that you may. I ask God that you may know what He wants you to do for the schools. They, she prayed this. I ask God to fill you with the wisdom and understanding the Holy Spirit gives. Then your lives will please the Lord, and you will do every kind of good work. And you will know more about God. And I pray that God's great power will make you strong, and that you will have joy as you wait and do not give up. So God, I just pray that for our leaders, I just pray from this verse, that you would give them the wisdom of your spirit, give them wisdom and revelation. Just like this says, that when we don't know what to do, that we would just stop and ask you. God, we ask that you would fill them with wisdom, every uh, one of our leaders in this city, and uh, our state, and our nation. And I just pray that. Um, that, that you would make them strong, and that you would give them joy as they wait, and that they would not give up. In Jesus' name. Continued, continued blessing. Uh, we need him every day, and I'm so thankful for Jesus Christ. And if it wasn't for Jesus, then where would our hope be? You know. And so I'm a firm believer that if we look to him and keep our focus on him, then we're going to be okay. So let's, let's pray. Mm -hmm. Father, I thank you. Uh, we come today, and we're just so grateful. We're so grateful for your love. Father, for your grace upon our lives. We're so grateful, Father, Lord, for your hedge protection. God, many times we see that. And there's, there's probably many times that we don't. But God, we know your hand is upon our lives. We thank you, Father, Lord, God, for that each and every day we can always look to you. And I do. I, I agree with these prayers that are praying for our nation and praying for our leaders and praying for our president and our Congress and, and all those, Father, making very important decisions. Lord, I pray here for our community. I pray, Father, Lord, for the families of our community. I pray, Father, Lord, that uh, in this community, as we look to you and as we follow you, that hearts will be open, minds will be open, and people would accept you into their lives, that you would be our Lord and our Savior. And as we focus on you, that God would have your peace upon our lives, that God, that we would prosper in who we are in Christ. That, Father, Lord, we'd have your daily provision, your daily protection. That, Father, God, that we would operate under the leading of your Holy Spirit. I pray that God, uh, each and every day, that God, when, the, when, the, when our adversary comes to uh, come against us, we just, Father, right now, in Jesus' name, through the power of prayer, we just want to demolish every stronghold. Yes. So, Father, I pray against I pray against drug use in our community yes. and our city, God. I pray that, Father, Lord, that where all those meth labs are and, and, and all those that are supplying that and, and all that that's getting them to our homes and our families and to our children's hands, Father, we just come against that right now in Jesus' name. 
I pray, Father Lord, for the light of Christ to shine in this city. I pray that, Father Lord, every day that we can see hope, that every day that we can just, uh, just feel the tangible presence of God and your love that's flowing in and through our lives. I pray, Father, for every church. I pray, Father Lord, that your blessing be upon uh, every time they're together in their services, but all the things that they do in ministry throughout the week. And as we unite together for the cause of Christ, I pray, Father, Lord, for lives to be transformed. And I pray for blessing. And again, I pray for just to each one to have just uh, the, the power of God working upon them in peace and in prosperity. Father, Lord, I come against everything that would uh, come against our city leaders and all the challenges and all the different things. That it's just in the day-to-day -day office, in the day-to-day -day grind. I pray that, God, you would lead them in their minds and, and you would. You'd give them wisdom. Yeah. But, Father, we thank you so much for who you are. And we continue to look to you. Our focus is on you, Lord Jesus. Not just on things that we can see, but, Father, as your word says, on things that are unseen, on things that are spiritual. Father, in the kingdom of heaven, and I pray that, Father, in the, in the city of Kuwait, that, God, the Christians can just uh, be an incredible reflection of your character, of your nature, of your love, of your grace. And I pray that our city, as we uh, are a part of this state, that, God, the Father, Lord, that we can be a light that shines. And Father Lord, on this National Day of Prayer, we, we agree together with believers all across the United States, believing, Father Lord, for hope for America.